Okay, so we're looking at the ingredients we need for our fish. Remember, we're doing the Christmas dinner fish. Um, why is it so important? We prefer fish, and we know people out there go for turkey, and sometimes you go chicken, and all the other options. But for us, it's fish. So, what ingredients we need? Scotch bonnet, about six of it. You're gonna see the size of the fish, and then onions, big size onions. So about three of it, and then garlic, as many as much as you can. Um, sometimes we put like one and a half clove, so that's all we have there. Now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna blend all of this, and of course Maggi cube, which is like a seasoning. what Maggi looks like. There are different types um, but we kind of get used to this one and that's what we're gonna add in there and then of course the spices and the herbs so rosemary and um, oregano or oregano as we call it and then of course salt. I'm gonna put just some pinch of salt in there maybe about a, a teaspoon side because it's quite a big fish. Now we're ready to blend. So we're going to just throw in some herbs. Now remember we really want to make this fish taste really nice and that's why we're putting all this in. I, I know we in particular we really don't like turkey because of the plant taste that turkey naturally has. But again, if we were to make turkey, this is how we will season it. Pour a lot of seasoning in so that it can pick up the taste and then you can actually enjoy what you're eating. So all of that in and we're going to blend it now. put enough water otherwise it's not going to blend so it's all nicely blended and so we pour it in a dish so now we're bringing the fish okay so this is the fish we're working with you can see how large it is um most times you can get larger usually the worry is the baking tray if it's going to be oven tray is going to be able to contain the fish so now you put all that seasoning we've got into the fish start by making sure you dip it in everywhere from the this fish has really been um the scales we've scaled it off and then we put um we, we soaked it in salt water for like good good um five hours you could do that you could even keep it overnight some people do now what happens when you put salt water put fish in salt water it then acquires the taste of it's been in the sea because now you don't know how long whoever it is that is selling this fish has kept it for how long it's been in the shop so when you now put it in salt water it now takes it back to a fresh straight from the sea kind of feel so now we put all our seasoning seasoning on the fish we try and put it everywhere so now you're making this fish taste really really fresh and nice and yummy okay 
right so you just remember put just a little hint of oil in this sauce a little hint of salt oil in it why do we need the oil the oil helps to hold the sauce together on the fish because if it's just sauce on its own when we start to put this when we put this fish in the oven it starts to melt away but the oil will help to hold this sauce on the fish so i know we didn't do it earlier but it's something that you need to do we forgot to mention it earlier Okay, so we, we just turn the fish around. Remember, you finish one side and you turn, just turn it and make sure you put on the other side too. So that way, every part of it has got this sauce in it. Generally, the head doesn't really contain much fish, so I don't make a big fuss of head when I'm especially fishes that don't have much some fish have, have um, flesh close to the head but this particular type of fish there's nothing like it. and i'm just a fishy person i really it's my favorite type of protein i really don't do much of meat so and i'm from like a fish seaside kind of area I grew up with fish and seafood so it's just my thing I barely I'm not huge with meat fish yes okay so you get a new foil and you cover it make sure everything is fully covered and then you cover it completely seal it off okay so once it's seasoned and covered you put it in a preheated oven this oven is so hot I just burn my hand a little bit oh dear all right, so it's preheated to 200 degrees, and now you cover it. Remember, as you cover the fish, it's just to make sure all the season stays inside. But we'll show you as we get along. So after about two hours, you bring your fish out, and you can see the wonderful job is done. Everything is ready. 